Northern Rail is a train operating company in the UK which operates predominantly commuter services in the north of England. It is the predominant operator in the north and operates the most stations out of any other train operating company in the UK. It serves most major northern settlements including Liverpool, Leeds, Manchester, York and Newcastle just to name a few. The main routes are, well, plentiful. But to name drop two, we have the one route from York to Blackpool, which covers about 105 miles in 2 hours and 43 minutes, as well as the Barrow and Finesse to Manchester Airport route, which covers just under 100 miles in about 2 hours and 26 minutes. It calls up 528 stations in total, of which 459 are step free to some degree, and 477 of these stations are operated and run by Northern themselves. This is done via numerous key services, and this is the biggest one yet. Starting from the north, there is an hourly service from Carlisle to Morpeth, with some trains also starting and finishing from Chatill in the early hours and evenings. There is also an hourly service from Carlisle to Newcastle, with some trains continuing further to Middlesbrough in the early hours and evenings as well. On the coast at Whitby, there are four services to Middlesbrough, and this is where there's a slightly complicated one, where there's an hourly service from Hexham to Nunfort, where four trains continue further to Battersby. From here, two of them terminate, but the other two are bound for Whitby. There are also three services between Nunfort, Middlesbrough, Newcastle and the Metro Centre. On the Bishop's Line, there's an hourly service between Bishop's Auckland, and Saltburn via Darlington and Middlesbrough. There is also three services a day which run from Saltburn to Newcastle via Durham and then onto Carlisle. At Carlisle, we also have services running along the west coast. It's a bit hit and miss, but broadly every hour, there's a service to Borough in Finesse, with four services continuing further to Lancaster. There's also a one evening service a day which heads all the way to Preston. There's also an hourly service from Barrow in Finesse to Lancaster, which some terminate, but every alternating service heads to Manchester Airport. There are also four services a day from Windermere, which also head to Manchester Airport. From Leeds this time, we have two services heading out, which seems to be every other hour, so they alternate. One heads to Carlisle, where there are eight trains a day, and there are seven trains a day to Lancaster. From here, five continue further to Morecambe. Every 30 to 70 minutes, there also seems to be a service from Lancaster to Morecambe, with one service a day heading all the way to Hessian Port. On the Airedale line, we have three services an hour leaving Skipton, two of which head to Leeds and the other heads to Bradford, Forster Square. On the Wharfdale line, we have three services an hour, again two of which heads to Leeds and the other one heads to Bradford, Forster Square as well. There is also a half hourly service from Leeds to Bradford. Now let's focus on the Blackpool Preston area. There are fast trains roughly every hour from Blackpool North to Liverpool Lime Street via Wigan, as well as a slower stopping service from Wigan Northwestern to Liverpool Lime Street, twice an hour. As it's the winter timetable, there's only one train an hour from Preston to Blackpool South and there's also a faster service between Blackpool North and York via both Preston and Leeds. Heading to the airport, there's a half hourly service from Blackpool North to Manchester Airport via Bolton and also from Preston there is an hourly stopping service to Cone. definitely pronouncing that wrong, but it heads there via Blackburn as well as an hourly service to Omskirk. Again, probably pronouncing that wrong. Moving slightly east, there's another half hourly service from Clitheroe to Rochdale via Manchester. There's also an hourly stopping service from Bolton to Staley Bridge. There's another hourly service from Blackburn via Manchester Victoria to Kirkby and also an hourly service from Stockport to Staley Bridge. Also from Wigan Wellgate, there seems to also be another hourly service to Leeds via Manchester. Heading towards the west coast again, there's an hourly service from Liverpool to Manchester Airport, as well as two trains an hour which head to Warrington Central from Liverpool, where one continues further to Manchester Oxford Road. 
We also have the local airport stopping service from Manchester Deansgate to the airport once an hour. And again from Manchester Piccadilly, we have the final airport train. And this one's slightly complicated. We have three trains an hour which head south before they split up with one train heading towards the airport and two heading towards Stockport. All three of them then rejoin before Wimslow and from here one terminates at Oldley Edge. And the final two head towards its final destination terminating at Crewe. There is an hourly service from Manchester Piccadilly to Stoke-on-Trent as well as two trains an hour from Manchester Piccadilly to Hazel Grove where one train an hour continues further to Buxton. There's also an hourly service from Chester to Leeds, heading via places such as Manchester, Halifax and Bradford, as well as another hourly service via Stockport to Manchester Piccadilly. From Ellesmere Port, we only have two trains a day, a very early AM train which heads to Helsby, and a faster evening service which heads to Royalton Banquet. Also heading east of Manchester, we have the hourly stopping service to New Mills Central via Breadbury, as well as the faster hourly service to Sheffield via New Mills Central. There's also once a day a far service in the early hours of the morning via Stockport. This route is usually undertaken by East Midlands or Trans Pennine services. And there's also an hourly service from Manchester Piccadilly to Rosehill via Fairfield. The last service we're going to hear today from Manchester is the half hourly service to Hadfield with the last train of the day making an additional stop at Glossop. Heading to Leeds now we have two trains an hour heading from York to Leeds via the Harrogate line and there's also an hourly fast train from Leeds to Nottingham and this is complemented with a slower stopping service from Leeds to Sheffield. Once it reaches Barnsley there's another hourly service which joins forming two services an hour from Barnsley to Sheffield. Finally, there's also the hourly service from Lincoln to Leeds via Sheffield. From Halifax, there are two services an hour to Leeds, with one heading towards Hull, calling out a fair few stations, but the other being a fast service straight to York. There's also an hourly short service from Bradford Interchange to Huddersfield, and an hourly service from Leeds to Nottingley via Castleford. This is also complemented by an hourly service from Leeds to Nottingley via both Wakefield stations and an extremely limited once a day service to Goal. There's also another service to Sheffield via Wakefield Westgate and Swinton every hour as well as a final service leaving Leeds which is also an hourly service from Leeds to Doncaster. When the home straight now so bear with. There's three trains a day to Cleethorpes, but only on a Saturday, so technically it shouldn't even be on this list, but here it is. There's also a train every two hours from Doncaster to Scunthorpe, as well as a fast train every hour from Sheffield to Scarborough. We also have a hourly service from Bridlington to Hull, and a once hourly service from Bridlington to York, where one service goes further to Scarborough, as this is normally TransPennine who run this. There's also an hourly service from Doncaster to Hull which stops absolutely everywhere as well as a limited three trains a day service from Sheffield to York via Pontefract Baghill. And on the Penistone line between Huddersfield and Sheffield there's at least one train an hour. And this leads us onto our last route which is from Sheffield to Adwick which runs once an hour. One thing I should mention is that these trains do not necessarily stop at all the stations shown but as you can see, it is quite a comprehensive network and I have to give it up to Northern. An anytime single between Blackpool North and York will set you back £35.20 with an anytime return costing £47.20. There are also eight main depots on the route, including one at Allerton, which is near Liverpool, Blackpool North, Barrow and Finesse, Heaton, which is near Newcastle upon Tyne, Hull Botanic Gardens, which is near Kingston upon Hull, Neville Hill, which is near Leeds, and Newton Heath, which is near Manchester. Oh, and let's not forget about Sheffield either. Northern franchise was originally run by Arriva Trains Northern from March 1997 until December 2004. Soon after, there was a joint venture which occurred between Serco and Abellio, who had won the franchise from December 2004 to March 2016. 
and from here, a River Rail North, which had slightly changed their name for some reason, had won the franchise and were back for another stretch between April 2016 and March 2025. However, things went away due to many external factors including poor performance and timetable implementations which didn't really work, and Arriva terminated his contract in February 2020. This now means Northern is owned and currently operated by the Department for Transport. They currently own a hell of a lot of trains, at least 345 according to their website, and these include a variety of different sprinter classes, Bombardier Electrostars and the CAF Civiti services. They also have a variety of old British rail carriages and trains, including the Class 319s, some Hollock ones which I've never heard of, which are the Class 328s, and some other CAF Civiti trains which are fully electric. Dromley, the Class 331s and the 333s. Other future developments include replacing a load of older generation trains, I'm sure Northern Powerhouse Rail, HS3, whatever you want to call it, will fit into it somehow, somewhere, at some point. But if you want to check an older video out, there's one here. But aside from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.